Hello everyone, welcome to Mind Brain Talks, the place where you find diverse and scientifically accurate information regarding psychology, psychotherapy, neuropsychology, neuroscience and research methods every single week. My name is Bruno Faustino, I am a licensed clinical psychologist and neuropsychologist who has been working as a therapist, researcher and educator for the past few years. Here in Mind Brain Talks, I discuss and describe different topics from psychology to neuroscience and I try to explain them the best as I can for you to understand a little bit more about it. All contents here are just for educational purposes and it's not intended to diagnose any psychiatric condition or neurological disorder. So, without further delay, let's jump for today's content. So today, let's talk about social cognition. Social cognition is a domain that is studied by several areas in psychology, such as generic psychology, clinical psychology, even psychotherapy, social psychology and so forth. Here I will take a more clinical perspective on social cognition, ok? Because social cognition may have a clinical perspective, especially when we want to see how individuals conceptualize their relationship with the other. But first, let's see the manners that I recommend to you today. The first is the principles of neuropsychology. The second is the fundamentals of human neuropsychology. The third is the neuropsychology handbook. The fourth is the handbook of clinical neuropsychology, the second edition. The fifth is the neuropsychological assessment by Muriel Lezac. And the sixth is the clinical neuropsychology. So now let's take a brief look on social cognition. Social cognition refers to a complex set of neurocognitive abilities underlying social stimulus perception, processing, interpretation and response. These abilities support the development of adequate social competence and adaptation. Social cognition impairments typically are associated with neuropsychological deficits. Social cognition defines some of the most clinical significant social cognitive abilities. Face processing, facial expression processing, joint attention, theory of mind, which implies reflections about the other's mind, empathy and moral processing. Social cognition impairments can be attributable to lesions in brain structures, frontal lobes, emotional responses to social stimuli and performance on theory of mind tasks. Again, impairments in frontal lobes tend to be described in people with autism, schizophrenia and psychopathy. Lesions in the temporal lobe, specifically in the fusiform gyrus, tend to produce inability to recognize faces. Social cognition is very important when we are thinking about ourselves and when we are thinking about ourselves in the context or the relationships with the others. Social cognition may help us to understand how we represent ourselves and how we, we represent the other. This is very important because sometimes in clinical settings we need to know how individuals think that the others are seeing them. And this issue may be very important, especially in psychotherapy. I know that here we are taking a more uh, neuropsychological approach because social cognition may have differentiated neuroanatomical structures. So, this is just a short video on social cognition. However, in the future, I will produce several other videos where I'll detail other aspects associated with social cognition. Social cognition refers to processes underlying social stimulus. Social cognition refers to face processing, facial expression processing and theory of mind. Impairments in social cognition tend to be associated with the frontal lobe, but it's not specifically in the frontal lobe that social cognition deficits may be attributable. Well, it's all for today. Don't forget to see the video description regarding today's theme if you want to see the manuals and the books that I recommend to you. Also, if you like what I'm doing, please consider to subscribe and hit the bell for notifications. You can use the comment section below to express your mind and to express your thoughts. Let me know what you think about all the things that you saw here. Welcome to Mind Brain Talks and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!